That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Welcome, welcome into the stream, everybody. Here, let me let me get some other music going. This is a little bit more familiar. Welcome into the stream. How are we doing today? Happy th th uh, Thursday. 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 Yes, I, as always, know exactly what day it is. I don't exist in a constant state of confusion. That has never happened. <laughs> welcome into the stream. That absolute banger of a new track we have. It do be Thursday. Appreciate you, Josh. Speak of the devil himself. That absolute banger of a new opener track as done by that beautiful man, L. Shatner, a.k.a. Josh, a.k.a. Reset Vibes. Please do yourself a favor. Go listen to that man on SoundCloud. He makes absolutely fucking incredible, incredible music. How is everybody doing today? It is so good to see you all soup, my friend. Appreciate the lurk. I hope you are doing well. This this track that's going on right now is also made by that wonderful man as well. Well, yeah, how how is everybody? I'm surprisingly awake considering I've been up for I've been up since like six this morning. Cause you know who's gonna naturally adjust to their new work schedule and plan ahead to make that happen when you can just dive right in and you know somehow not be tired at least the first day. That's not gonna last. Uh, yo, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you kindly. Honestly, I like. I wasn't expecting it to grow on me as much as it did. Because I genuinely fucking love the stash. Like, thank you for encouraging me. Porn stash bros for life. Like, it's it's easier to maintain. And honestly, it's just fun. I still haven't decided. I probably won't, because that takes a lot of work. But there's a part of me that's like, you know, do I. Just like when I had the super thick beard, do I let the sides grow out enough that we can start like twirling the mustache a little bit? I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're back to full beard already, yo. You know what? Respect, man. Respect. Either way, you are the reason that porn stash exists. And that is all that matters. Well, yeah. Welcome in, everybody. How you? How you holding up today, Josh? How you doing? Also, I. You know what? I need to harass Avery real quick. 
because they started messaging me at like I think right at three and yet here we are what five minutes into stream and they're not here I, I started specifically for them put my phone down and not be rude <laughs> but yeah welcome in finishing for spoken right now yo okay now I'm I'm very curious and honestly I like it'll be long enough before I even consider playing it and I also have zero frame of reference for like most of the story if not all the story for the game I gotta know man don't worry about old max spoilers if you don't want to how now that you're especially close to the end how did you like for spoken What's your thoughts on it, man? I'm I'm really curious. Jimmy. Newt Newt indeed, my dude. What is good? Jimmy, my friend, how are you today? Oh no, that's right. Ah shit, I forgot. I turned it so the music didn't loop. Let me let me hit that real quick and we'll we'll, we'll get this rolling once again. I know what I'm doing. I am a professional. These are all lies. Everything is a lie. Fucking hate cucumber, but you'll drink it in your water. <laughs> Honestly, man, I kind of get you on that. The texture of it is just a little bit weird. And I don't know why that, like, there's certain dishes where I'm down with cucumber. But most of the time, I just don't want it. Gameplay loop is a lot of fun, honestly, but the story's kind of meh. And it's short as fuck. Ah, damn. It's a cool proof of concept. Hopefully they end up turning it into something more. How, uh, how long has it taken you to get close to the end of the game? It's like, you just can't but you want to same with tomatoes dude fucking same there's really rare situations like if if it's on a hot burger where there's just enough heat from it that the tomato starts to soften a little bit i can be okay with it but like i just i don't like the taste and texture of tomatoes either i don't understand them 14 ish hours oh yeah especially for like a a hugely advertised game. I can't remember if it's a uh, AAA studio or not, but for a game, they put a ton of effort into, uh, into advertising. That The fact that it's only about 14-ish hours is disappointing. It's tainted. It has to be super thin. Uh, you know what? That I can really respect. Hey! Nico! Nico, my friend. Oh, that's right. It was Square. I don't know why. I, like, I heard so much about the game coming up to release but i just never thought about it to be fair you just focused on the story i i can respect that most definitely especially for something like that where it's a brand new attempt at an ip didn't do much of the open world stuff yet yo definitely let me know what you think once the uh once you get into the open world stuff after you finish it hey scarlet phoenix what is good how are you it is so very good to see you and you were about to make me drink water, but you literally have 12 derp coin. No! I wish I could give you derp coin, Nico. Give it a solid 7 out of 10. Hey, you know what? That's respectable. I could dig that. I fucking love pizza and ketchup, so no crap about it. It's the same thing, though, Jimmy. Bite me, it's not. Different shape, suck my nut. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had lots of coffee. Jimmy, you're not wrong, man. You're really not wrong. Like, it's kind of the same thing with cucumber. When you use it to transform the flavor of something else... It feels different. Also, yo, when did we just gain a follow? I don't know why my notification didn't go off. Uh, psychod Psychodel Incest? I I think that might have been the name. Well, well, there comes the notification. Welcome to the Derp Squad. Y'all, we are one follow away from me having to wear a Cupid costume here in, what, four days? It's here. Um, I gotta be honest, Scarlet Phoenix, it is not on my list. I I have my personal reasons for not agreeing with and not being interested with it. I get people being excited and understand it. Like, you do you. There is no judgment here. It's, it's not going to be something I'll check out. But I'm, I'm not going to be one of the ridiculous people that are like, well, you know, because, because I have my reasons, therefore you can't. Enjoy what you want to enjoy. You can, you can transform... Okay, Jimmy, putting cucumber in water transforms the cucumber. But also, pickles are transforming cucumber. And I fucking love pickles. But yeah, life is treating me well, man. I'm, I'm in a great-ass mood. I had my first day at my new job today, and it was fucking fantastic. It's so nice to be in a spot where, like, literally day one, 
I'm given complete freedom to change things however I want. Like, I'm... It's so fucking nice. It's really nice. Yeah, no, it's... I heard a lot of hate for First Spoken too. I, I don't entirely know why. I think people just have way too high expectations going into things. Okay, you know what, Jimmy? Caitlin's the same way. She hates pickles, but I'm glad she doesn't... Um... I'm glad she doesn't hate me for him. I don't eat him. Pickles are from hell and not from the fun part. God damn it, Jimmy. Yo, Ethan, my guy, what is good? What's up? It's flawed as far as story and dialogue, but gameplay is solid and it's gorgeous to look at. Yo, respect. Yeah, no, Ethan, my guy. How is your week going so far? What is up, my man? I'm sorry you're out of the tiny apple gang. I will... I will see about gifting you a sub after stream. I can probably, hopefully, do that. People think because Square's name is on it that it's gonna be great, but it's a new IP to build on. Or on a build of the Luminous Engine. Oh, shit, I forgot that was one of the first things... Or no, I'm, ignore me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I forgot that they were building up off of the Luminous Engine. Yo! Josh, you did not have to give five subs, my dude. You were too fucking nice. Also, apparently... Streamlabs is just slow as fuck today because I'm getting none of these notifications Yeah, no dude. It's it's so fucking nice like I I got the chance to literally rearrange their entire cheese case day one Because I hated the way it looked it looked like shit and it needed to be fixed. Oh my dude you Thank you for the extra gifted tier one to make sure it went to Nico Much love my guy but yeah, how you doing, Ethan? I am I am so glad to be here with y'all. Besides cucumbers and pickles, how how else can they become edible? You know? Delayed reaction much. Streamlabs. The fuck? Um I gotta be honest, I can't really think of any other ways to make them edible. I might have been bullshitting when I said transforming cucumbers. Like tomatoes, because I really don't think of anything else. <laughs> Avery! Avery, my friend. Most important question, how are you doing today? How's your neck feeling? Thank you so, so much. You like... Uh, cucumber chips. I have never tried cucumber chips, but I gotta say, that just sounds pretty decent. Let's see here. Did she ask you something? No, 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 no. You're good. I didn't ask you anything. A little salt and vinegar. Yo! Okay, that sounds fucking bomb, man. None of that cucumber bread <laughs> shit's weird. Wait, people actually make cucumber bread? I've heard of zucchini bread, which is fucking delicious, but cucumber bread? Is that okay, now I now I need to search Google real quick. That that can't be a thing, right? Cucumber nut bread? No! Okay, well well apparently. Apparently the crime that is cucumber bread exists. Even though you were thinking zucchini bread. Okay. But yeah, no, honestly, man. Zucchini bread's good. You just have to have somebody know how to make it. <laughs> Apparently it is a thing. <laughs> Next Sergeant Herp Derp cooking stream are we making cucumber bread and we can all collectively fucking vomit. Well, I've brought home some ranch pickle chips. You're not a fan of ranch at all, but these tasted like fried pickles. Oh, dude. That sounds fucking bomb. Hell yeah. And you good? Just finished your work day? Yo, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. How did your... It's Thursday. How'd your Thursday work day end up going, man? Uh, fucking sick. The fuck is this? Okay, dude, zucchinis are delicious. Zucchinis are amazing sauteed. They also do look very similar to cucumbers, and they definitely look like a dick. I'm nervously looking at your new medication for the past hours. I am... I can understand that, my friend. I, uh, I haven't seen my sister today, but I will, I should see her when I get home tonight, and I'll ask her how that ended up working out for her, because I can't remember, she's, she's been on, like, most anxiety and depression medications, so she, she's a great resource for asking about anything, so I can ask her, uh, how she ended up responding to that. If that's something that she's still on or not, I genuinely don't remember. Oh, you ordered the 12 plaque of hat. Plaque? 12 pack of broth bombs. Hell yeah. Is there any that you're specifically super excited for? You know what, Jimmy? You're depriving yourself. Like, especially if you're having some nice pasta 
Toss in, yo, ooh, grilled zucchini with white pepper, sea salt, and Mrs. Dash does sound fucking fantastic. Like, dude, Jimmy, it doesn't taste, or once you cut it open, look anything like cucumber. It's fucking delicious. You need to try zucchini. You do. And smooth for once. Fuck yeah, my guy. Fuck yeah. Oh, snap. The green screen is moving. We have been graced by a slightly less chunky one. I will. I absolutely will. I'll, uh, I'll talk to her tonight. That way I can hug you more. Hello. That way I can have you that DM all. Why you do that, Judge? I promise I'll throw the timer up. <laughs> Love you too, man. I promise I'll throw that timer up as soon as we switch to the other screen. I'm gonna keep cursing for now, <laughs> but I'm done cursing. No. It's not part cucumber. It has nothing to do with the cucumber. I promise. But yeah, I will definitely get you, uh, I will, I will find out whatever she, her experience was, my friend, and I'll send that info your way. And yeah, no, it's, it's, it's essentially a root vegetable, if I remember right. They are, they are delicious. They are absolutely delicious, but also, <laughs> why it look like crumcumber? <laughs> Jimmy, I came with you, bro. All right, we're gonna we're gonna switch on over to the console screen, and we're gonna open up something. So, this is a game that randomly popped up on my recommended feed on Steam. We'll see if it's too loud. Uh, definitely, let me know how it sounds for you guys. Let's see here, you gotta dip for a bit. Yo, I am so glad you made it for the opening too, man. The new tune is so fantastic. I love it. I love it. We're honestly, we might go back and forth between that and the old one because they're both so dope. Feel like you're lying to me to eat it. I'm. It's not a cucumber. Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy here. It is. Oh. Ooh. So you've played this before, Nico. Okay. Oh, that's got me extra excited. Okay, here. I. I have to. We must. <laughs> Can number. Oh wait. Oh no. It, the game thinks that I was pressing a thing. Big sis will play with me. I wonder where she went. Okay. Because apparently I was typing without it paused. Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy. Like. It, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you. It's, it's cooked. It is already cooked. But this is what zucchini looks like. No, you, you can't be mad now. Zucchini is delicious. Okay? Zucchini is absolutely delicious. And you need to grow up. It is zucchini. Alright, we'll move this right on over here. I gotta, I gotta put it below me so I can actually point. This, oh wait, no, I know, this, this guy right here, that's the, it's, it's not square, <laughs> cucumber, number, man. cucumber and zucchini are different, Jimmy, Jimmy, you are an adult, alright, adjust your palate, my guy, and you haven't played it, you just watched someone's playthrough, okay, sick, so, all I saw was adorable alligator, and also customization. So I don't I don't really know. <laughs> it needs to happen. <laughs> Just these. Well, you know what, Jimmy? You can suck on these. That lemon look fire though. I'll eat that, bro. See, thank you, Scarlet Phoenix. Thank you. Zucchini is delicious. You need to try. It's a cute little game. Alright. Bet. Bet. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> fuck him, whip him out. <laughs> I ain't scared. All right, all right, let's, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, it's already like 10 out of 10 because I get to go back and forth and, okay, I can't, I can't rock around the way I want to. I haven't yet. I have not had the chance. I have, between starting the new job and life in general, I have not had the time, but I am going to get it done. Okay. 10 out of 10. Thought he was gonna do it. <laughs> you got nervous, you know. <laughs> I don't want to get banned on Twitch yet. Is this, you know what? If this all... Oh, and he even says I'm the ruler of the world on top. <laughs> I was ready. If this right here was the whole game. Just this adorable art style and getting to rock around on a seahorse. It's a solid at least 8 out of 10. Alright, where am I? <gasps> Y'all... Oh no, the ground is lava! Ah! Okay, don't worry, we got this. The, the floor is lava and whatnot. Okay. But, oh, <laughs> I get to moonwalk, let's go! <laughs> Why is this so entertaining? Stay with it. That's it. 
Okay. <laughs> 8.5, you know what? I respect it. Big sis, big sis, big sis! I'm bored! <laughs> <laughs> Extra chaotic today, Jimmy. Chill out and self agree. <laughs> Cover number is poop. Okay, Jimmy. Cucumber sucks. Zucchini's different and it's good. But also, I swear, Caitlyn has done that exact same move to me before. What are you doing? <sighs> Just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game? Puzzles, monsters, the usual? No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can it be out already? <laughs> Why is Caitlyn not here? Because this is literally her. I want to be the legendary hero. You and me both. Uh, but we don't need a single player legend to hero. We want something we can play together. <laughs> Guilty by phallic association. I <laughs> care with you, bro. Appreciate you, Nico. How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and a shield. And a hat! Of course. A silly pointy hat. And you or and you have to be clad in green. I am green! Great! You're already halfway there! As a matter of fact, hold right there for a minute. Is, is she gonna make us a hat? <gasps> Oh, let's go! I look so cool! <laughs> oh my god, this is so adorable. The, the light engine might be a little bit broken. Did you know you can smell your lungs, but your body chooses to ignore it? Is that true? Is that actually true, man? If it is, that is fascinating, but also weird. It's like he jumped right out of the magazine. Now, as is tradition, you must choose a heroic n <gasps> Oh, wait, do I get to actually name myself? <laughs> Trying to smell my lungs right now. How does one smell their own lungs? I have to know. Like, you... <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's right. I have to get through the dialogue because I don't think I can pause this. I don't know if I believe you, Jimmy, but, like, genuinely, how does one smell their own lungs? How? What about hero or hero hero sin hero meister the third? Okay, but this is what all the NPCs are gonna call you for the whole game. You don't know how you're or you don't know how you're born doing it already, so you don't know how to smell them. I love that that's the information you've decided to grace us with today, man. Your name can be as silly or serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's go. Wait a minute. I think we're going to be Derpagator. I got browsing meter to tell me in chat how much it costs because it looks cute. Okay. Um, it was... Um... It's, um, I have to text. Yo, Ruby! That was a delayed reaction to the choo-choo. Ruby, my friend! How are you? Okay, I, I do believe we're gonna be Derpagator. Is this the name you want? Careful, names can stick. That it will. And it does! Derpagator! <laughs> yes! Ruby, my friend, how are you feeling today? How's it going? How's, uh, how's the hopefully not flu and hopefully just cold? Hey, heck yeah. Yo, Zelda Lucas, my guy. What is good? It is so good to see you well, well, well indeed. How you doing today, my friend? I am Derpagator, hero of legend! Pleasure to meet you, Derpagator. <laughs> now you need some kind of quest. But what? We need to get you up to speed. Set the stakes with something dramatic. Yo! Hey, and crass clearance. Thank you for the follow, you guys! We just hit 400 follows! I don't even know what to say. This is absolutely bonkers, but also now I act like... I need to figure out how to get the costume fully together. I bought some sequined suspenders and a bow tie, 
and I'm gonna figure out what the rest of the costume is gonna be, but I now have to dress as Cupid on Valentine's Day because we hit 400 followers. I don't even know what to say, y'all. This this community is amazing. Genuinely. A little bit ass, ah, slept through your meds, alarm for the night, so you've been suffering all day. I'm so sorry, Ruby. I hope you end up feeling better soon. That's, is it what, was it, was it two days ago that you mentioned that you were getting Poggers. it? Poggers! Poggers, indeed. But yeah, so the Lucas, my friend, how has your day been? How are you? A hundred billion years of darkness! <laughs> a little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started 100 billion years ago? <clears throat> Announcer shot. Two days ago, yeah, although you started meds yesterday, so you didn't have them before. Hopefully they end up helping kick it in, or kick it out sooner rather than later. You know, I can't, I cannot forget the heart bow and arrow. It's one of the most important pieces. <laughs> But yeah, genuinely, here, we'll, we'll do it while we got some touching music. Genuinely, I, like, I don't even know how to properly thank you guys for how not only amazing this community is, but how much it's grown over really just even the last, like, six months. When I when I quit my last crappy cheese job until today, me start officially starting the, like, great one. There was about six months. When I quit that last job, we were at, like, 160-some followers. In six months, this channel has over doubled in size, and there's like there's so many more of you that are here just day in, day out, and it means so, so much more than you guys will ever know. I am so grateful to have each and every one of you here. It's, it's, hey, uh, no, no, that's you. That's you, Ruby. You were amazing. I just, I, I truly, truly appreciate you guys so much for being the people that you are. Yeah, you're still an Epic Games account back, and now you're enjoying playing Rocket League. Hey! Your day's been fine, you went to school, had two tests, and now considering not going to school tomorrow because we don't have four lessons and two are left, so yeah, okay, you know what? That's understandable, my friend. That is very understandable. How did the two tests end, or how do you feel like the test went? Let's see here, Caitlin brings all the boys and girls to the yard because her milkshake's the best. You're not wrong. You are so... Very not wrong, my friend. Let's see here. You were on class trip and you skied all day. Hey! That sounds pretty dope. Had you ever skied before, Solstice? Let's see here. They went amazing. Definitely got a good grade if you knew what to write. Heck yeah, this is a big ol' high five for you, my guy. Yeah, no, hopefully... Hopefully you end up feeling a little bit less tired, especially mentally, my friend. I, I can I can get that. Yeah, but it's been many, many years. Hey, well, that's awesome. I'm glad you got to enjoy it again, my friend. All right, let me let me actually read the game. <clears throat> when you feel like death, you can barely stand up. That is fair. That's such a specific muscle group. Let's see, your attendance is going up 53%. Heck yeah, my guy. Proud of you. Heck yeah. Okay, we got to uh, skip a lot of days. You know, that's understandable. That is very fair. How, uh, I don't entirely know how the, like, grading system works, it, like, as far as, like, years ago in Poland. How many, before, like, I guess regular school ends, if that makes any sense. How many more years do you have left, bud? All right, we're gonna go full announcer, Sean, here. <clears throat> 100 billion years ago, a brave hero set out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made up a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. But after two weeks break to change, you will pass everything. Heck yeah! You got this. You absolutely got this, my friend. Serious, you're amazing and amazing person to be around, so I'm not surprised the channel has grown this much. Stop it, Ruby. Stop it. You are too nice. Don't make me cry on my own stream. I appreciate you. But yeah, no, absolutely. You got this, bugger. I think... I think that's honestly been one of my more favorite things about this channel is, like, I've genuinely been able to sit here and watch some of you guys grow and become more conf or confident and comfortable in who you are, and it has been such an honor to get to share that journey with you guys. He was not built for upright walking and to support the extra weight, it just placed more connections between upper and lower leg. You are not wrong, but also book. Book, my friend, how are you? 
Normally it would be five or six, but since you go to a mechanic school, you only have three years. Well, hey, there you go. I'm glad you're getting really close to the end, my friend. You're an expert at making people cry on their streams. If <laughs> you have milked, <laughs> you've made Puffy cry, he'll make you cry. No, no, don't you even laugh at me, Ruby. Don't do it. I am but a gremlin who deserves none of the love. <laughs> I don't know why I said that so dumb. I appreciate you so very kindly. Like it, having you, I mean, having everybody around is just the best. But Ruby, you have been such and like, it's so crazy to think you've only been around since October because the first thing that made you pop into this channel was Choo Choo Charles. And thinking back between then and now and how like truly, like, this community doesn't function the same without you, my friend. It, it means so much to have you here. They also made a pact to last all the playtime. No work allowed. But one day, after many a playtime, Big Sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. It is, it is truly, truly a phenomenal thing. Like, I am, I am so very grateful to Libby for the incredible people that she has brought over. Like, I am, I am so very, very thankful to that wonderful human being for introducing me to some of the most lovely and amazing members that are now such an integral part of this community. Hey, you deserve it too, Ruby. You do. You don't get told it enough. You are genuinely amazing, and I appreciate you so much. I've been looking at laser hair removal under the idea the more you can do to socially become more androgynous. We'll waste time until your appointment next year with productive things that aren't a little too sus. Hey! You know what? Props to you, my friend. I like that thought behind it. I respect that a lot. You're just a dumb, horny, fat ass from trying to have fun and not be as lonely. Well, hey, you, you know, I won't correct you on anything other than the dumb. Okay? You know, I trust me. As someone who massively struggles with body dysmorphia, there is no reason to be like, no, don't, don't, don't. I can't think of words. Denigrate? That's not the right word. Don't don't be down on yourself. Don't say those things about yourself. I get it. It is it is incredibly hard. Like at this point in my life, I've realized the thing that I really want to aim for is not body positivity because honestly, that just creates another type of honestly negative thought. What I feel like, and this is what I'm trying to aim for, and it's something that I'm like trying to get more people to at least be aware of, is body neutrality. Like, that's, that is honestly the most important thing. Understanding your body, how it needs to function on a degree. I thought we didn't kink shame your shot. Damn it, Ruby. God damn it. But yeah, no, we, we appreciate you so very much, Ruby. So, like, uh, sorry, tangent, got distracted. But the one thing I will not let you say, you are not dumb, Ruby. You are an incredibly brilliant person. You are. But it is, it is truly such a pleasure to have you here from all the fucking way, uh, like, genuinely everybody. I don't understand how international this community is. It's such an insane and honoring thing to have you guys here. It really is. I don't, I, I can't help but ramble. I'm sorry, you guys. I think I need to make a <laughs> damn it, Ruby emo because that quickly became a quote here. You're not wrong. You're really not. <laughs> As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Sean, your Etsy orders are starting to send off. Hey, the Omori pin is on the way. Heck yeah. Hopefully they don't take too terribly long to get there. Until one day, when Big Sis came home for fall break. Maybe now they could play again. Just like they used to. Feels like just yesterday, huh? <laughs> yep, those hundred billion years really flew by. Kinda makes you wanna jump up and do it all right or all again right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Jimmy hug <-dees. laughs> I love how absolutely fucked you end up going with the hug command, man. If it wasn't obvious what you went with, more to sus is what most trans people do when legal ways of helping get all right, getting help is impossible. You know, I can... I... <laughs> Demon Jimmy. 
I figured that was what you meant, my friend. And, like, obviously, if you're ever struggling and ever need anything, my DMs are always open to you, my friend. But I very much admire and respect the fact that you're trying to, like, even with how ridiculously fucked the system is, I can't words. The fact that you're trying to do it, like, the reasonable and responsible, or no, those aren't the right words, the, like, the less dangerous to you way. It is, it is very admirable, my friend. And <laughs> Atomic Hug is supposed to get here between March 17th and 20th. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Wait. Jimmy, who said anything about you fighting anyone? What's happening, my man? Well, I really have to finish this group assignment. Aw, oh, come on! You've been working on that all day! I barely got you to come out here with me. I can't wait to see it when they get there, my friend. Yeah, sorry, kiddo. It's a tough project. I did just know. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that's it. That's it, you guys. You know, Creator Clash can suck it. What's happening for reals is the combination. It's the Derpaverse and that one guy averse coming together. That's it. We're throwing down biggest Creator Clash ever. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. Oh, oh. Okay, hey Ruby, I can't, I can't get off the screen. Um, would you, would you mind taking care of that, my friend, or can I? I can't escape. Plus, I haven't heard from the other member in a while, so I'm having to pull. Or actually, I can do it on mobile. You know, it may have been a premature celebration on 400 because one of those is definitely a bot. Um. I'm glad we don't have to deal with them that often, but it is always very annoying when everything gets completely derailed. Okay, <laughs> that one guy or that one universe get it right. I'm sorry, I forgot. You know, it's okay. I'll I'll take care of blocking it as soon as I get through. Ah, you are the best. Appreciate you, Ruby. Appreciate you. Get the bots out my dang chat. See, your money is on Derpsy. I appreciate you, Ethan. I appreciate you. And I don't blame you, Nico. It is such dope stuff that you ordered. Though you have a friend who's trans in the UK who gets her blood checked constantly because they're poor health, so you know, or so you know what is safe levels to take. Hey, well that's awesome. You want followers? <laughs> I must do what the nobot tells me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're all good, Ruby. You are all good. You know. Because what, what you definitely need to do to gain following on Twitch is completely break TOS and go to dogehyper or whatever the fuck random thing dot com to buy yourself some follows. And yo, definitely. Okay, I, I hope you guys all are ready. But if you're not, make sure you're going and following Jimmy. That man is wonderful. He truly is. But <laughs> Bot wasn't a true believer of Charles. And see, that's a crime that none of us are okay with. So I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. It's crazy, like 20 years ago, talking to someone through an instant message or internet was crazy, and now there's programs that do it automatically and annoy the hell out of us. Dude, it really is. Like, I feel like our generation, like, growing up with the internet made it so fucking weird, because we didn't really understand how any of it worked, but we just kind of had to grow along with it. Shun all the non-believers. Exactly. <laughs> do we need to have a shun command? Because I kind of think we might now. But, uh, don't worry. I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. My foul mouth retired <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> and I stream whenever I can. How is that? You know what? That works. That works, my friend. Yeah, you're my amazing big sis. One little assignment is nothing. You'll finish this thing before we even know it. I believe in you 100%. If there's even bots that speak convincingly enough that you might have talked to a bot on the phone not knowing. Dude, you're not wrong. These days, bots are genuinely fucking terrifying. And now she'll never finish it in a million years. Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek. But thanks for trying, guys. Oh, sorry, Derpigator. <laughs> Why do I love that name so much? I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay. Jill, or it's okay, Jill. We all did our best. You know what? I'm gonna have to say our technology is cool, but it is getting scary. That is a fact. 
Okay, I should probably... I don't feel like there's gonna be a ton of different characters, so I should probably actually have a character voice for everyone. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play the game for her. Avery, that's it! I'll play the game for her! <gasps> they said it couldn't be done. Care to elaborate? Right now, all this stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty pots beside empty waterfalls that don't even have a cool secret cave behind them. <laughs> there is no story. No drama. We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero, an epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. Are you sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? This is this is called Lil Gator Game. Appreciate you, Nico. I don't know what it is, but it's fucking adorable, and that's all we need to know. I've been doing college-level work recently, <laughs> but, but you're a little hippo. Oh, you know what? I, can, can I be both a hippo? Can I be a hippo gator? Or, or can I just simply, like, exist as a hippo pretending to be an alligator for a minute? Jill is the voice of reason in this game. You're not wrong. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Oh, no. Are you crashing from the coffee, Jimmy? I've been doing college level work recently trying to get into that prep school. It's really hard. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years and I can't wait that long. She'll have like 10 million years to finish it later. <laughs> we really have a good idea of what time is. Not entirely sure that math tracks. It tracks! Just a thought. Have you tried having a grown up conversation with her about all this? You know before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that. No growing up self during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. <laughs> Just enough to get her hooked again. Please. You already had me a drama. <laughs> I guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help, I trust you. Let's hear a game you... Had a slight eye on, just came out with their first demo. Ooh, what's the game, Nico? Let us know. Yes! All right, let's get to work. Each of you will make a quest for me to complete. I reward me with one of the hero's items. Avery, your quest is for the hero's hat. Hat, quest, got it, bye. Martin, you'll handle the shield. Gotcha. And Jill, the sword, leave it to me. Oh, you're all good. You are all good, Nico. What's the game that came out with the demo that you've had your eye on? Exactly! And I'll play through the game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. I'll do the quest to become the hero and win over Big Sis. Sounds like a plan that might almost work. Possibly. You're right! It will definitely work! <laughs> we're so innocent. That's not what I said. It's called Spirit of Midnight. The demo literally came out a minute ago. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Don't worry, Scales. We'll ace this assignment for sure. Hey, sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal run of the mill day on the island. Nothing special or exciting happening to my knowledge. Uh, okay, kiddo, have fun then. Oh, I will. <laughs> All right, hey, I can actually. We can actually play the game now. That would be lovely if you could DM it to me. Oh wait, I actually have to get rid of the family friendly timer. Cause I can say the fuck word again. Ha! Uh, <laughs> Derp Derpigator is a great liar. I love that we just sit down whenever we're not moving though. All right, let's go. I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. Oh my God, the waddle. From the heart, the little time you've known you in the community, you're very happy to be around. You're all amazing and that wouldn't be possible without A. You're an amazing, fun gremlin. I appreciate you so, so very much, Ruby. And I joke a lot about being here for Caitlyn, which you won't deny. It's definitely a plus. She's a whole general gorgeous firecracker. Ha, firecracker, and you love to simp for her. Hey, you know, it is, it, it truly means more than you know, my friend. Truly. <laughs> I'm attracted to you initially to your channel, while watching you scared shitless of Choo Choo Charles. But it's fun being around, loving the appreciation. Hey, it is—it's amazing. Even if they're cursed, hey, 
You are, you are too very kind. I, I hope it does too. I sincerely hope this shit gets to the point at some point. Like, I don't, I don't want to become rich. I don't want to become the next huge fucking streamer. But I want to be, I want to be able to do enough that I can do this as a living so we can spend, like, 30 to 40 hours a week doing this shit together. Hey, I am so glad, Nico. I am so glad. It is... It means so very much that you guys have that safe space here. It is, like, to its core, that is what I started this channel for, is a chance to hopefully make a community where people are comfortable being themselves. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? And with Caitlin by your side, hey, that is a fact. That is absolutely a fact. And, and more than that, I'm, I'm here to still bully you for a long time to come. You know what, I'll take it, Ruby, I'll take it. You! Hero! Please, you must help! These vile creatures have attacked me! A defenseless NPC! You, do you have a weapon, Hero? Um... A weapon! Oh no, I am lacking my sword! Do you know where I can get one? <laughs> With the slingshot on the ready. Okay, but real talk, her aim is getting fucking terrifying. <laughs> Ah, Scaled Traveler, I have heard many a tale of a mythical sword. The stories claim it to be deep in the forest, hidden away in a magical grove. Only heroes of true heart are able to draw the sword from its impenetrable base. That sounds... difficult. <laughs> she do got them skills. I'm sure you can manage it. You're the hero after all. Please, you must retrieve the sword and save me. Alright, let's go find a sword. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love the waddle walk. This is so fucking cute. What do we got here? Oh, that's not the X button. Please don't jump on the rock ledges. <laughs> I do what I want. You can't tell me how to live my life. I'm a motherfucking alligator. Alright. Somewhere in the forest. Oh, snap. There it is. Sword. I got, <laughs> I got stick. Wow, the magical special sword. It's... It's a stick. I guess it was pretty short notice. Quick, I have to defeat these enemies. I help Jill. Alright. Appreciate you, Nico. Apparently, I don't know how to drink water. Yo, we got craft stuff. Oh boy, junk! I should probably hang on to all these business pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle it into something new. Ooh. Hey, you are all good, my friend. You are all good. It has been a pleasure to have you here. I hope you get some good rest. We will hopefully be able to see you at least for a little bit tomorrow, my friend. Have a great night. It is always a pleasure to see you, Nico. I'm gonna just punch everything. Obviously, these cardboard bits are a major threat. And they all need to die. Hey, I look forward to it, my friend. I look forward to it. You rest well, and we will see you tomorrow, Nico. Much love, my friend. Alright, I know. I probably don't need you, but I want to punch everything. It's very important. You would already have left had it not been because this is the week where you work late. Hey! Well, oh no! <gasps> I can swim! And the swim animation is adorable! Yo, that is fair, or very, very fair book. What's, uh, how much later than normal are you working this week? Here. Uh, you know, that's fair, but I, can you blame- wait, I can- I can just sit on things! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a fucking child. I am way too easily entertained. Alright, let me fuck these things up. Break them all! Oh, please, I'm surrounded still! Alright, there we go. <laughs> you can sit on things- oh, shit. <laughs> I, you know, oh, two hours later. Okay, that's not at least that's not too bad, but hopefully enough that it makes your day a little easier. From behind, you look more like a chameleon than a gator. You're not wrong. Of course, you can. So why? What? Okay, I wasn't expecting it. The urge to not say that, that's what she said. <laughs> you don't ever have to fight that urge, Ruby. Wow, super cool moves, hero. You have completed my quest. I mean, yeah, but you're back to doing schoolwork. I thought you were playing. What time, or what time is giving you a hard time? I didn't know if you could swim. <laughs> I had a little heart attack when you fell off the ledge. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't just me. I'd like... It's, it's a game. 
I don't expect to be able to swim from the start. I am, I promise. Just trying to squeeze a practice quiz in on the side. I'm a little stretched thin right now studying for that prep school. I don't want to waste any time. But the second you need me, I'll switch gears again. Okay, well, I'll see you later then, I guess. I like the little drying off animation. I know, it's cute. Sister, sis, or sis, sis, check it out. <laughs> Did he just take a picture of the stick? Hey, you are all good, but I hope you had a good shower. Things people must test in all games. Fall damage and swimming mechanics. That is a fact. I found a special story in the forest. And I rescued Jill from the scary monsters. Very cool. Don't break anything. Ha! <laughs> okay. It'd be bad for the devs to not know basic anatomy of the animal they sent the game around. I mean, that's fair. That's fair, Ruby. She loved it! Okay, what's next? Oh, I should check in on Martin. I think he's in the sandy area. Be an alligator and not be able to swim. But it was unexpected. <laughs> they clearly don't walk on two legs. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. But I thought they did. Have I been lied to my whole life? Was that just some dude in an alligator costume? I can, oh, I can break everything. Okay, can I? I can't make that jump. Or can I? Jump! Nope. Okay. Sploosh. <laughs> the little splash sound is so adorable. <laughs> Say it. Say it, Ruby. Do it. Don't hold it back. Alligators don't, <laughs> don't walk on two legs, but turtles do. See, these are the important facts, right? You know, probably ask <laughs> Floridian about gator anatomy. Caitlin, babe, we need to know. <laughs> You're the only one who can answer this. <laughs> they also fight crime. Okay, so one of them is at the beach. Yo, but also, the soundtrack is so perfectly chill. I dig it. Alright, I think I punched everything. Oh, can I... Let's see here. <laughs> what about gators? Gators walk on two legs, right, Jimmy? Gators are bipedal? That's that's how they function. I, I need you to confirm this for me. Alright, wait, no. You're, n you're not from Florida. Alright, you are not a gator expert. <laughs> Kinda, sorta. <laughs> wait, gators have two pi- wait. Wait. Wait, what? Well, this is gonna be in my search history. Okay, so here's- <laughs> The first article that comes up <laughs> when I Google search this. I need to- I need to open this up. Um, let's see here. Gators are by- mm, I don't know. No, but you watched a shit ton of Crocodile Hunter. Hey, right, fair enough. Okay, no, <laughs> I can't. These are important things, but also, look at the fucking title of this article. It's from National Geographic. Why snakes have two penises and alligators are always erect. <laughs> oh, bipedal. I, I forgot. You guys, you gotta remember, I forget what I say like two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give all animals two penises. <laughs> God damn it, Jimmy. <laughs> Me in high school. Okay. Okay. Wait. Did, but I thought I did say bipedal. Um, let's see here. I need to know why. What does the article say? From spiky penises to multiple penises. Or none at all. Reptiles have some of the most unusual mating gear on earth. Oh, no. Oh, cool. We get to just stare straight at it. Wait. No. But no. Get off. Get off my screen. No. I can't learn more about alligator penises unless I subscribe. Damn it! Okay, what 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 about this one? Is this gonna be a copy paste of the same article? Maybe. No, I don't think so. There's literally nothing there. Okay, can we choose it? <laughs> they look like rotten grapes. I know that was. <laughs> Twitch, please don't ban me for showing snake penises. Okay, we can't learn now. No, <laughs> use my spam email. Okay, you know what? Let's see. Let's see. Um. Let's see here. Um. Can I, if, if we just enter, do I have to actually have an account here? We'll just, you know what, actually, we'll use this one. Because I never remember this exists. I promise this is an important thing. Let's see here. And now three free articles. All right, sick, let's go. Now we can get the terrifying snake penises off screen. 
I do know that snakes, at least ball pythons have two penises. Interesting. That's, you know, I should have, I should have known that you would know that it sounded like penis and it was funny. <laughs> Let's see here. In the case of garter snakes, I've studied being able to mate from one side of the female or the other might be useful in intense mating competitions. <laughs> okay, but why, why do gators have, wait. The Tuatara, a reptile that resembles a litter, has an, or a lizard, has no penis at all? Search, what does that mean? <laughs> XD or, or is it TOS? I, I honestly don't know. I just, it, it can't, okay, we're talking about animals. It can't be TOS, right? <laughs> Those lay eggs though, interesting. So if the mounts the female, places the opening of his cloaca over hers, and this allows him to transfer his sperm to her cloaca, interesting. Y'all, welcome to- <laughs> this is the FBI, we've been watching your search history. You're gonna have to come with us. Wait, but I haven't finished learning about snake penises! <laughs> it's okay, hashtag nature teaching. Oh, you had to pass the tree and- Oh, you know what? I think- I actually don't know what that was. And I don't remember searching it. Cause I think it said, what does ESP stand for? I- I don't remember if that was something I ever searched or not. And I'm thoroughly confused. Let's see here. Studying embryos of the central bearded dragon lives in a dry environment. Let's see here. There are these females grew hemipenises, or hemipenes, the equivalent of mammalian penis. Was this that? Wait, so these snakes just. females decided to get penises? Let's see here. The females lose their hemipenes as they get close to hatching. Interesting. Excuse me for random hiccups. Uh, the hem- the hemipeny! <laughs> I don't know why, but that- that- That's fucking hilarious. I am a child. Sport, spikes and tiny hooks. Okay, but we're alligators. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you would've told me that playing an adorable kids game would- or at least like an adorable alligator, uh, platformer game would turn into me searching about alligator erections i would not have expected this, <laughs> this does not look like a little gator <laughs> no but we're talking about this gator's little gator <laughs> let's see here <laughs> i would start calling people hemipene <laughs> dude <laughs> i fucking love it yes let's see here male american alligators are always prepared most if not all other animal penises inflate from a flaccid state but gators keep their permanently erect <laughs> <laughs> you brought up my beetle. Let's see here. And that's not all. The penis shoots out from inside the animal's body and then it bounces back like a rubber band? Wait, wait, what? Researcher and animal phallus expert. Okay. There is someone, probably multiple people throughout the world, that have the title animal phallus expert. And I don't know why, but that makes me fucking die. <laughs> More like a bipenal. Um, okay, that this permanently erect bungee penis is. Okay, but wait, this is what the expert says! That this permanently erect bungee penis is really weird. Are we sure they didn't just like grab some random guy off the street and were like, hey, what you think about this alligator's dick? I never thought I'd be jealous of an alligator. Kelly has a theory about how a permanent erection, or a permanently erect, almost free-floating penis with no muscles attached to it is able to extrude from the, or extrude from the animal's cloaca. After seeing this video, oh no. I'm not clicking it, chat. We're not gonna watch how an alligator erection happens. I'm not doing it. That probably does actually break TOS. <laughs> She hypothesized that a pair of muscles cradling the penis, the levator cloatia, <laughs> come on, Sean, <laughs> contract to force the penis out. So far, the phenomenon has only been observed in Nile and Australian saltwater crocodiles. Okay, <laughs> click it, click it. You can't teach only half of it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide it from you guys for a sec, and I'm gonna actually click it. Ah. I am forever disappointed. <laughs> okay, link control of the control control of the computer and click it. I'm sorry, you guys, but our education on alligator penises is unfortunately done for the day because someone has decided to private a video on an alligator erection, and you know what? I'm not okay with that. <laughs> 
can't see here. <laughs> You're disappointed. You can't see a gator have an erection. Are you guys not disappointed too? <laughs> I'll do my own research. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. I, I need to write this time code down because I need to remember to click this at some point. <laughs> Sean likes gator pee pee. No, Jimmy, you're twisting my words. <laughs> the tangent of tangents. I fucking love you guys. Thank you for being down with whatever madness we end up getting onto. Ah, where's my sword? There's my magical sword. Who are you? Aw. Oh no, the water has evil in it. Destroy the water! Ah, it's so slippery! <laughs> That's so fucking cute. But you admitted it. <laughs> it moves to clip. We know! <laughs> I clip it, unfortunately, you're not on the laptop and you're just sort of be up on it. I don't blame you, Ruby. <laughs> Jimmy, I swear to God. Don't fucking clip it, man. That's out of context, okay? Can I climb this tree? No. But I can slide down trees. Okay. Oh, hey, I found you. Franny? Hmm. Where could it be? I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I won't, lol. <laughs> Too fucking lazy right now. See, I knew you wouldn't, Jimmy. I knew. You looking for something? Yeah, there's this stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Oh, no. Uh, I feel like I left it right here in the center of this conspicuous opening. Uh, stick, stick. Nah, we're going to be a good little gator. We'll tell the truth. Oh, was this your stick? <laughs> Oops, I thought it was for me. My friend told me there was a sword hidden in the forest. And when I found that stick, it seemed perfect. <laughs> the split up one clip, though. <laughs> Fucking shit. A secret sword? Oh, that reminds me. While I was looking for my stick, look what I found. <gasps> oh! Whoa, what a sword! This must be what Jill wanted me to find. Let's see. <laughs> Truly good times, my friend. Thanks a lot. Do you want your stick back? But, but his stick is good at impaling his sword. I don't think so. I think our sword is going to potentially get us up. Yeah, I know. Upgraded. I'm, I'm not squinting. What you talking about, Jimmy? I think we might get arrested for stabbing someone, I gotta be honest. Don't worry about it. You can hold on to it as long as you're enjoying it. See you around. Thanks, Franny. You're dope. You're just the fins. All natural gator. Hats <laughs> aren't always comfortable when you have fins. And, oh, snap. Okay, so we got them both now. There's a whole inventory system. I am, oh, look at us. Let me just do some hoid whacking. As long as you're enjoying yourself, stab people. Or you're enjoying yourself stabbing people. Keep it. Uh, wait. Hmm. Uh, hanging with some jazz cabbage. Get damn it to me. <laughs> Derpigator the landscaper. That's what this game should be called. I'm doing the Lord's work. I'm pruning. Okay, but also, I know it said there's nothing, but like, no, aw. There's gotta be something behind a waterfall. It's a video game. No. Okay. Yo, just, I gotta say, the sound design in general for this game is fucking great. Let's see here. <laughs> Wait, gators go in water. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Oh, what? What the fuck are you? Game reminds us always check waterfalls. Exactly. What? Is that a monk? It's a monkey. <laughs> These characters are adorable. Let's see here. I thought they were them land lizards. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We heard it. <laughs> Stranger danger. That's it. You. I'm not talking to you. Hutch. Aw. I can't kill it. Hello. Hey, have you seen... It is- oh wait, <clears throat> You know what, the shopkeepers are all gonna have a very deep voice. <clears throat> it is I, the bracelet shop. Look upon my array of beauties. Do you not desire them? Covet them? Hmm. <clears throat> Tell me, what is it that you truly want? Um, I'm looking for my friend Avery. They're a frog. Avery, I forgot you're in the game. No, gators go in the sky, but Sky Daddy was mad, so he threw them down on the water. And unfortunately, they only adapted instead of drowning. <laughs> Fucking shit, Ruby. Yes, 
the energetic one. They have ascended to greater heights. Hey, you were all good, my man. You are all good. I hope the store trip is quick and easy. But do not fear, for you can follow in their footsteps with the help of my bracelets. That seller gives me chaos shoes goose vibes. <laughs> Little bit. You're saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs? They are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength. The strength to keep going. To tell the world who you are. To ascend over your every obstacle. To hold tight to the truth in your heart. Okay, okay, I'll take one. Fine. Ho oh, ho! As I thought, you desire my bracelets more than anything else in this world. Mayhaps I sh could be persuaded to part with my beauties. For a price. <laughs> he eats all the bracelets. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken crafting stuff? But it's just a bunch of junk. <laughs> you gotta share. Alright, one bracelet for everybody. Especially if they're old, those old school rubber bracelets. I'm sorry. We all gotta get matching ones. This happens. <laughs> then he eats the monkey. I dig it. <laughs> As father, you're meant to share. <laughs> That's right, Dad. You can't eat them all. Ah, but do they hold value to you? Do they not? Or, but they hold value to you. Do they not? Then they also hold value to me. Because I can take that value away from you. Oh, you're a slimy bitch. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 100 scrap. All right, fine. <laughs> Dad Tex eats them all. God damn it, Jimmy. Oh, ho, ho. wonderful here. Take my beauties and make it yours. Okay, I, I, a single bracelet? It gives me the strength to climb walls. With only one, my stamina is pretty low. With more, I could climb longer. Okay, you know what? I feel like I gotta go for a better voice, considering how fucking sketch this monkey is. But do not be mistaken. One is never enough. Look upon my array of beauties. Imagine the strength they lend me. Okay, that's a little bit too close to our gator. <clears throat> Ahem. What shall it be? If you still yearn for my beauties, seek me out. You will find me where you least expect. Goodbye. Welcome back, Nico. You're having some trouble sleeping, my friend. Let's see here. <laughs> we shall be covered in rubber bands. It must happen. And I can climb now. Yo. Then your mom will bonk you because all the kids are gonna cry. <laughs> asking for more for, or asking for some and mom's gonna have to go to the store and get more. Exactly. These are facts. Those arms are very gay, very rainbow. You know what? I dig it. Yeah, no, you doing okay, my friend? Hello, fellow mountain climber. These bracelets sure work great, don't they? Uh, I guess so. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Hey, that is fair, my friend. If you want to talk about what you're feeling nervous about, we are here for you. If you just want to hang and chill, that's okay, too. They're just bracelets, right? Might be placebo. Not a chance. I myself am, of course, a proficient mountain climber. But when the frightful character told me that they could help, you bet I bought one. Heck, I bought four of them. Now look at me. I can climb anything, go anywhere. You, fellow mountain climber, we will have a climb off. Um, I will traverse this mountain and hide amongst its peaks. If you think your meager one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities, prove it and find me amongst the mountains. That is a fact, Nico. Okay, where where are you hiding? Are you yo? Oh, oh, there's a whole stamina system. I can climb anything. I am a god. You know what? That's fair. That is fair, my friend. I must step. You know, the stamina is so breezy. I could climb trees. I can climb everything, y'all. I gotta say, I love the sheer verticality of this. We love you, Nico. Like, I was not expecting to be able to go anywhere. Yo, that is a fact. Anxiety do be an absolute bastard of a thing. You guys, is this Breath of the Wild too? Let's see here. Punch, punch. Is there more stuff over there? There is. I wanna, I wanna break all of the things because I feel like I need everything. But I also, I must, okay, there's there's too many things to focus on, and I have a small brain. And therefore, I don't know what I am doing. Quickly, jump! Okay, where, where is he? Maybe he's, is that him up there? No, that's a, that's a string. Okay, well. We're gonna find something. 
And we're not gonna find alligator penis. We're not bringing that back around. <laughs> Actually, need some noise in the background to keep your mind distracted so it doesn't wander and makes you stay up nervous. I can respect that. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. Could you help me out? What? What happened? Hold on, I'll break you out of here. Um. My guy. Really? <laughs> Whew, freedom. Yeah, what the heck happened? Well, I was just standing here minding my own business, meditating, eyes closed, completely motionless, blending in with nature. And suddenly, these pieces of cardboard appeared around me. Oops, that's my fault. Me and my friends play these all over the island. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I would have broken out myself, but after staring at the designs of these creatures long enough, I fell in love. Okay, but also, is this the giraffe from Giraffe Town, but before drugs? That's, that's the true lesson of this game. Don't do drugs, kids. The simple, elegant shape, the exquisite color, the lifeless eyes staring into the void. I couldn't bring myself to harm such an image. Give a man, give a man to teach a hot dog a day. Eat a man to give a hot dog lifetime. Steve. God damn it, Jim. I only wish there was a way to bring that image to life. Ah, if only. Anyway, I must take my leave. Okay, well, if we run into each other again, maybe you could help with the game? Hmm. Mayhaps. Only time will tell. <laughs> it might have hurt my brain reading that. <laughs> Become caveman, you did. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I love it. It even has jiggle physics. This is so fucking cute. I needed this game in my life. I'm sorry that I am gushing about a $12 game that is almost completely and entirely definitively made for children. I fucking love this. I must destroy pot. No pot shall hurt this giraffe. We'll, we'll go to the future and we'll prevent a terrible, terrible thing. Okay, what else we got? Um, I gotta be honest, I kinda got lost. Pretty sure it isn't made for kids. Okay, good, good, okay. I can feel much less bad about, you know, drug jokes. <laughs> this is not Breath of the Wild, it's Gator with apparently two penises that we couldn't see erect. On so, so educational video on this educational channel of the wild. That's right, y'all. I am. Oh, race. Um. Wait. What? Oh no. You know, we we've been lacking a true, true educator since losing Bob Ross and Steve Irwin, but. <laughs> Watch, this is Gator Game. This is a little Gator Game and it's fucking adorable. What is good, my guy? Pretty sure it was made directed towards adults and older teens. It's a way to feel innocent childhood joy. You know what? I dig that. I respect that. Especially with the, like... With the seeming heavy theme of, like... The depression that comes with not being able to do fun things because of responsibilities, it really does feel like an escape. Let's see here. <laughs> Bob Ross is dead, dude. Bro. I'm sorry. I, I thought you knew. <laughs> he, he's been dead for a minute. I'm sorry I had to be the one to break it to you. <laughs> You're a little late for that. Yeah. Oh, hey, Derpy Gator. I've got that shield ready. Let me go grab it. Why no? You can't just give me things. It has to be a reward for a quest. Okay, now we gotta... Let's see here. But... Yeah, no, Nico's talking about the game. Fuck no, I thought he was still painting. Nah, he he is gone. Dual quest is the only way to become the hero and for my sis to play with me. Right. Talking to her is out of the question. Completely out of the question. We went over this. Playtime. No grown-up stuff. Quest. Drama. Fun. But maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her. Too bad it's gonna work perfectly and we don't need to. Ha <laughs> ha! Fine, you want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quests are the best quest. 
Oh my god, hiccups. Hey, I hope you get some rest, my friend. We love you, Nico. But, you know, we'll, as soon as I can pause, we'll take a peek. Oh, no. Why well, you gotta do that, book? Oh, I mean, uh, I sure do love me a fetch quest. So, go over there and grab that thing. I need it. For reasons. Huh. Well, yes. Okay. Appreciate you, Jimmy. I can't say my words. Okay, quest time. Okay, but yeah, let's let's look it up. Because now I, I don't remember when. Um... Let's see here. Bob Ross died in 1995. Man, he died just barely a year after, or almost a year after my birthday. It's insane to think it's been that long. Hot dang. Rest in peace, my guy. I know. That was a that was a long ass while ago. But yeah, no. To to answer your question, Watts, this is <laughs> this is just a random game I found on Steam that is absolutely fucking adorable. We just get to be a little alligator and we punch things with our no. I'm not fast enough, and I have a jiggly headband. Hat. That is a hat. I apparently don't know words. Okay, how do I speed up? I am obviously not fast enough to do that. <laughs> we no punch, we slash, yo. That's fair. I said my words wrong. Diablos. All right, let's see here. I come and keep knowing very famous people who died so near to your birth, like Freddie Mercury and now Bob Ross. <laughs> Is that a sign of things, Ruby? It, it would be a sign of nothing. Weird, I wonder what Marty's plan for this is. I don't know, but we're gonna find out, little buddy. Oh, hey. You've got this, Derpigator! Uh, you sure? I'm pretty high- Oh no, I did say that! I said the thing! Okay, you know what? What I'm gonna do, we're gonna make the invisible turtle angry. You can't quite see, but he's very angry, and I'm gonna yeet him at myself. Now he goes back to happy. Because I said the words! Y'all, it's been a minute since I've messed that one up. I am ashamed. Don't worry, the legendary hero or hero can climb any height. What's wrong with the tort? It's so It's one of those little stuffed animals where well first of all it's green, so the green screen makes it so it doesn't show up. But it's one of those little stuffed animals where on one side it's happy, and then you flip it inside out, and it's mad. There. Now you can see. Angie, happy. He's a happy turtle right now. I'm pretty sure I got that for Caitlyn, like, within a month of us starting to date. Oh, yeah, I'm a hero. As long as you... <laughs> as long as you messing up me and Book, you know? Wait, no, you mean you and Soup. Dig it. Dude, okay, there, honestly, there are a ton of different ones on Amazon. There's different animals, too. Like, I would highly recommend it. Caitlin, when she used to work from home, she'd use it as a sign for how her day was going. So, like, I'd, I'd get here, and she'd still be on a call, and I'd look over, and I'd see if the turtle was happy, and I'd know it meant she was having an okay enough day, and if it was angry, it was like, alright, we gotta make sure she gets a chance to choose. I know, Book did bamboozle me. She needs a chance to just kind of decompress after today. The sign you might be a reincarnation of any of them, and you're wasting your life not using that potential. You know what, Ruby? Wasted potentials hang together, my friend. Okay, can I can I go read or see? Nope, never mind. I can words. I can't properly words, but I can attempt to punch the thing. Do it. I need all of the cardboard. Give me more scrap. Hacha, hacha, hacha. Kind of got a real question for y'all. What you got, Jimmy? Bring it on, my friend. That they are. Words are incredibly difficult <laughs> when you only know one language. Are you saying all your people <laughs> is made of wasted potential people? I, I was saying you and me, Ruby. I was saying you and I, my friend. I have been told, wa or I have been called wasted potential so many fucking times in my life. Let's see here. I don't know how to put it, so you'll put it like a Google search. All right, bring it on, my friend. Bring it on. I have your pot, my guy. I'm... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People do suck hardcore. There you go, Martin. I got the pot. Reward time. Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing. You came back. 
Okay, you know what? I feel like Martin needs to have more of a, like, demure kind of voice. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic. So here's your reward, hero. I got the pot lid. This is... Martin, this is the thing I just gave you. No, it's not. It's your shield. Really? Yeah. Wow, shield! Amazing! In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. <gasps> I can't wait to find the hill and slide down it on this potlet. I'm, I'm me shield. Well done, hero. You've completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. Yo, Jimmy, you can say it. It's all good. If you need some time to figure out how to word it, take your time, but we got you. Let's see here. Listen, just because you dropped out of college and now work in a storage facility, even though you're probably better qualified for some of the office workers and they're especially the ones doing math like statistics, does not mean you are a wasted potential, you know? There's nothing wrong with that, my friend. There is nothing wrong with that. Like, we, we live in a world where, unless you got a fuck ton of money, people aren't given the right guidance to actually figure out how to do shit. Like, personally, if I'd have been given any real chance, and if the world was a fair place where everything wasn't completely stacked against people who come from f fucking nothing, I would have probably been an engineer. Like, I, I have a brain for not only like, numbers, but space. But you know what? It's about figuring out how to use those skills in your own way. Personally, I've found that working in some form of, like, logistics within either grocery or restaurant industry is something I fucking kill at. It still uses that same part of my brain, but it's in a way where, you know, it was actually accessible. It's, it takes time to figure out the shit that really works for you, and nobody really gives enough credit for people who are willing to, like, try things or just kind of do what they have to to get by until they can figure it out if that ever happens because sometimes it doesn't now go tell your sister you want to, or now go tell your sister you wanted to play with you not gonna happen bye i don't know man <laughs> how to be okay around people you were pissed at you know what that's fair that is an incredibly difficult thing to do like it's 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 hard to be civil around people that you were genuinely, like, either pissed or angry at. Like, I... Personally, I... The way I always deal with it is just simply being neutral in those moments. Just, like, literally going through the motions of having to deal with them. But it's also a question of how much time you have to spend around them. Like, if it's, if it's something where it's just, like, in passing or occasional conversations, it's a little bit easier. If it's someone where, like, day in, day out, you have to deal with the person you're pissed at for, like, a majority of your days. You're civil, but thought in the back of your head is go ape shit daily. You know, that is fair, my man. If you want to share more about what it is that's going on uh, with whatever the absolute fuckhead is, we are here if you want to share it, my friend. Like... I will say one of the best ways to cope with people that just j either their existence pisses you off or you're currently pissed at, having a place where you can vent is sometimes a decent way to at least like control those extra hard I would want to literally destroy their soul feelings. So feel free to vent here in stream or my DMs are always open for you too my friend. Like if, if you ever need to just like put some shit to words to just let it out. I always got you, my man. Says I found this weird round thing, right? But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. He transmuted it into a shield. I can't hear, but I know how to talk about because you were married. Alright, you were married up and take care of it the old way. <laughs> or talk of making someone kiss the curb. Yo, that's fair, man. That's fair. And it's unfortunate, you know, to have to constantly think about how our actions have repercussions with other people in our life too being a good person or like really just existing and trying not to cause shit is such a fucking pain and nobody talks about it i mean i didn't call you wasted potential sean <laughs> or he made it seem so okay 
But, but Ruby, you, you said that you feel like wasted potential or called wasted potential. I can't remember. It's been more than two seconds and I forgot. And I have been called it, so I just figured I would relate, my friend. Incredible. Yeah! Okay, all this left is Avery. They've gone and climbed the mountain, haven't they? Right, yo, let's go! Speed! Okay, that's fun. <laughs> that has no right being as fun as it is. But yeah, no, I am I am full <laughs> angrily. I don't blame you, my friend. I don't blame you. And honestly, sometimes it is okay to just simply be angry. Bam. Breaking. Oh, the shit. Let's go. Yo, I can get some fucking air with that. Joking at how you're wasting your potential because <laughs> you're maybe Bob Ross is okay. <laughs> you know... Sometimes I just gotta make sure that a self-deprecating joke isn't something deeper. I gotta make sure that- wait, wrong way, I can't go there yet? Oh. I gotta make sure that you feel heard either way. Still have a quest to complete. Alright, I must find my quest. I don't know where, but it exists somewhere. I thought they said the sandy area, so maybe the beach? I don't entirely know. But I'm gonna climb this rock because I can. But you know, I, I do apologize if I took that the wrong way, Ruby, and I offended you in any way, my friend. Okay, here now we can actually climb this. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, let's go. What do we got? Break it. Punch. It. Oh, I'll take it. Like, when they talk, you want to snap, or I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, I don't fucking care, like, I didn't engage in convo with you, why are you still trying to talk to me? Yo, okay, but people like that are the fucking worst. There are so many tone-deaf people out there who just can't take a hint when you're not interested in even remotely conversing, and just want to blather on because of who they fucking are as a person, because they feel like everybody needs to hear them. That shit is the worst, my guy. What else we got up here? Maybe this way? There we go. There we go. Bam. Bam. Oh wait, where am I? I gotta be honest, I get lost way too easy in every situation. Hey, who are you? Oh, there's the bear. Ah, fellow mountain climber. You found me. What took you so long? Bet you think you're quite the hot shot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You've learned the art of ascent, yes. However, you are quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. Did that man literally just ragdoll down the cliff? I'm good. <laughs> I'm sure my parents would say you're wasted potential. You're gonna be their one kid to go to college, but their infinite bullying scars you to the point you weren't staying in that house another three years or more to attend college. Yo, I don't blame you, Ruby. I don't blame you one fucking bit, man. That is... I feel like, like, obviously most generations the parents fuck up their children, but I feel like our generation, Ruby, ended up getting fucked so much harder by just shitty learned behavior by our parents and at least I feel like more than not our generation is trying to learn from that and not repeat those mistakes but god damn if it didn't fuck us all up Let's see if it's a whole fucking thing land or thing man like goes much deeper too much to talk about here yo feel free man feel free to DM me I got you my friend I uh I guess <laughs> requires much practice to achieve this level of mastery go and perhaps one day you will measure up to my abilities how do I wait okay that's expensive I don't know if I want to buy it uh, which I think is a massive reason why so many of us do not want to be parents you're not fucking wrong like between like the mental health issues that come with my genetics and also just the horrifically shitty parenting, those were two of the main things that I talked about when I went through the long fucking process of having a conversation with a doctor about uh, getting a vasectomy. Let's see here, anybody remember the demonization of things like D&D &D and Pokemon? I do. 
I really fucking do. It was such a wild time to grow up around because like I had friends' parents who were that way. Thankfully, my parents never were. They were... My parents had their own issues, but at least when it came to a lot of media, they weren't overprotective or ridiculous and demonizing things. Oh, I fell. Climb. No. Ah, that the state of the world. You are not wrong, my friend. You are absolutely not fucking wrong. It's hard to want to have kids when, you know, everything is to a certain extent teetering on the brink of fucking destruction. Punch. This is how we get our feelings out. We become an alligator and we punch cardboard. So these are these are healthy coping mechanisms, right, you guys? Okay, but I gotta go. I don't I don't know why. Well no, I know why. Because so many years of old school games. Let's see here. Kids are cool, but we both laugh at each other's farts, yo. <laughs> That's fucking fair, man. That's fair. <laughs> That's some good shit to bond over. And Pokemon said, let's show him a real demon Pokemon. And yet, at that point, it wasn't really a big deal, so nobody batted an eye. Which is frankly how it should have been the whole time, but you know. Zealot's gonna zealot. It. Okay, is there anything down there? I don't know. I wanna explore everything, but also. Oh, hey, Mr. Frog! Oh, hey, Derpinator. Oh, wow! Oh, what's all this? It's something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis all at once. A restaurant. Let's create lots of conflict and grown-ups love conflict. A restaurant? Conflict? See, there be an opposing restaurant that badmouths them to the press. And then in Act 2, all the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. I just now noticed that the slime hat drips. <laughs> Fucking adorable. Let's see here, you can speak for yourself, you can't take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and monetarily. No way you're bringing a kid into that. I fucking feel you on that. I really do. And it feels like every year the goalpost just gets moved a little bit further from us. Hey, welcome back, Ethan. Honestly, this game is so fucking adorable. The drama. With all that spoiled food, how will they impress the food critic? Not to mention all the interpersonal tension between the chefs. Uh, I don't know. All this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Oh, stressful? Yeah, uh, kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh no, not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. Boop, there it goes. So, the hat, right? Digital you make the hat? Right. The hat. Um To be honest, I forgot everything you were talking about the moment I left. But you seem to have a pretty clear idea of what you want. Why don't you make the hat yourself? But but it needs to be a quest. Can do. Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go. Simple. Aw oh, shit. Let's go. Just make it? Yeah, you've been collecting stuff, right? Cardboard, confetti. Shattered ceramic. I bet you can make a hat out of that. That's not dangerous at all. But I shall become. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey, that wasn't so hard. I made a hat of all my own. Quest complete. Oh, I mean, almost complete. I have to show Avery first. Avery, I hope you're in the chat. I must show you my dope hat. Yo, the hat physics are adorable. Let's go. Wow, what an excellent, heroic-looking hat. Ha! Thanks! Does it satisfy your question? Oh, yes. Absolutely. And even better news. I remembered something about the game. It has a glider. It makes exploration so easy. What? <laughs> That's off to this physics. Heck yeah. The puns are what I live for. A glider? The ones I played didn't have that. Must be thinking of a different game in the series. Anyway, hero, for fulfilling your heroic quest or heroic questing duty, I must reward you. What? Reward? But I already have the hat. Hero, I must depart. Please take your reward as I leave you goodbye. Oh my God! So <laughs> I made a Breath of the Wild joke. 
<laughs> I made a fucking Breath of the Wild joke because of the stamina bar. That was an actual Breath of the Wild joke in game. And that's definitely, totally, 100% not a spoof of, you know, the eye logo from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I love this game. Is this a shirt? Every way, who shirt is this? I guess this must be a guy who they were talking about. <laughs> Apparently, I fucking did. <laughs> I'm clairvoyant. Quick, please, somebody buy me a lottery ticket. I did. I did. I gotta be honest. I'm not like... Which, Hoggers! We haven't talked about it yet. We can definitely talk about the Nintendo Direct right now, if you guys want, for, uh, for, for anybody who did watch it. I'm like... Let's see, I needed more pants because this idea does not like it when you're pantsless, man. Isn't that the worst? Uh, GBA and Game Boy is coming to Switch and Pokemon OG games. Yo! Okay, now see, I missed the part that the OG Pokemon games is coming. That's fucking dope. I am really excited about the, uh, about the GBA. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually gonna buy the subscription, at least until they start adding more. The eight games to start are pretty solid. Like, the, the fact that they put, uh, what is it, Mario and Luigi, or Luigi, Luigi. <laughs> Uh, Superstar Saga, which was one of my favorite games as a kid on there. I do love because I really hope more people get to experience that game in its original form um, As far as the games announced, it's nothing. I'm like super excited about Most of it and I mean it part of this is just because breath of the wild I couldn't get into so what is it tears of the kingdom breath of the wild 2? I don't know how to feel I I don't like I think it's just simply not my style of RPG. I I definitely like the the Yoshi's Island inspired DLC looks absolutely fucking dope for Mario Kart. That new course looks absolutely fucking sick. Let's see here. Share the ladder numbers. No share the prize money. You got it. You got it, Ruby. Also, skirt is also an option. You know, I gotta be honest, book. I like more and more, I kind of feel like I want to buy a kilt for comfort's sake. Like, I, one of my best friends, he rarely ever hops into chat here, but, uh, one of my best friends has for years talked about how he wishes it was more socially acceptable for dudes to wear summer dresses, because they just seem so comfortable, and I gotta be honest, I think I'm at the point where I kind of agree with him. They just seem really fucking nice. You want to play Minish Cap? After watching Libby play, you need to play it. That's one that I never played too. What did you think of it after watching Libby play? Yo, and see, I respect it. Like, I, I get that Breath of the Wild isn't my style of Zelda game, but I know people who loved uh, Breath of the Wild are absolutely fucking stoked for Tears of the Kingdom. It looks like... I'm gonna be honest. The thing that had me the most concerned, and yo, Wise Moth, welcome in. You want to enjoy the experience catching Chimkins? Uh, I gotta be honest. I have my concerns thanks to fucking Banjo and Kazooie nuts and bolts. As soon as I saw the, like, car building mechanic, I had flashbacks to that, and it was like, oh god, no, please don't try to do something like that, because that did not work at all for that game. Um, I'm sure it'll be better in Breath of the Wild. But again, it's like, it's not my style of game. Games with that heavy of a durability focus for weapons, I don't love... Hey, I am doing very well. I am doing so very well. How about yourself, Moth? You have it, but since it already comes with free DLC in certain games and Nintendo 64 games, you're already in love. Yo, I get it. Like, Caitlin and I had a debate last night because the the family membership is on sale for, I think, like 56 bucks for a year. So it's, it's not too bad. And we were like, you know, maybe it's worth it for the DLCs. But also, I, I like, we ended up deciding not to. But I feel like at some point we'll probably upgrade, like, especially having Smash and Mario Kart, where I'm not the most interested in actually paying for the DLCs, but it would be fun to fuck around with them. We'll probably at some point at least, like, get a free trial, if not fuck with it. Uh, let's see here. It was super fun. Breath of the Wild was your first Zelda game. Hey! I did not know that. That's awesome, Ruby. That is so awesome. Let's see here. <laughs> you want to catch and eat Jumpkins. You know, that's fair. It's a fun-ass thing to do. But yeah, it like, I will say, I am going to be really curious to see how the new Pikmin game turns out. And I'm genuinely surprised at how early in the year uh, the new Zelda is coming out. I was expecting like Q4 for it to come out. I definitely did not 
think it was gonna be happening in fucking, what, May? I hope that doesn't mean we're coming to the end of the life for the Switch. I really don't, because I know a lot, like, people have been constantly agreeing, or, I mean, rumoring and trying to agree with each other about the fact that the Switch is gonna die this year. I really hope it doesn't, because there's still so much potential behind that console. Let's see here, it's midnight, and you finally finished making the damn emote. Hey! There you go, what's the new emote you were making, Moth? Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time looks fun, but you're not really interested in the others except maybe the new one. And see, I will say, Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time are like, it's it's hard for me, hey, oh, that's so adorable, I love it, Moth, that's fucking sick. Um, the, and it's, it's probably because they were the ones I played in my formative years. But Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and I know this one gets a lot of shit, but I feel like it's completely unfounded because the art style is just really cool people wanted something dark and gritty but i like i i fucking love it it's so good wind waker is like i won't say it's my favorite of the three i think if i were really to talk honestly about it and objectively not talking about the nostalgia attached i think twilight princess is probably my favorite zelda game but wind waker is so fucking close it like it was such an interesting and different mechanic the world was fucking beautiful. Doing cell shaded was a great way to make a game that, like, even to this day, it looks good. That game came out in, what, 2004? Yo, I'm glad you get it too, Ethan. That game came out in, like, I think it was 2004. That game is almost 20 years old, and it would still look, like, really fucking solid on anything. It's, it's genuinely just such a fun art style. It was such an interesting take. I loved making the statues with the, uh, with the camera with the dude who is outside of... Oh god, I can't remember the name of the island. It's been too long. Maybe that's something we'll play on this channel at some point. I don't know. Um, it's a lot more money for the expansion pack. I think it's great they're adding the Game Boy games to it, but at the same time, they need more in order for it to be worth it. And see, that was my biggest question and thought behind it, is the fact that they're only putting eight GBA games seems a little bit cheap. If they outphase the Switch now, it would be for a home console, and I don't see a significant power improvement in a, hel or in a handheld. I feel you on that. I really feel you on that, Moth. Let's see here. Oh, I mean book. Oh my god, I was looking at the wrong one. I, I really feel you on that book. When the new Breath of the Wild comes out, you're gonna be single again. <laughs> Just like when the new God of War came out. <laughs> Boyfriend spams it all day and night. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Moth. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be hundreds of hours. It's definitely jumped to a different style and mechanic, but it's a fantastic Zelda game, hands down. Layla loves the game. Hey! Like the island concept, it's kind of what Tears of the Kingdom, for what you understand, is going to be like. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to keep my eyes on it and hear how people enjoy it. Because I am I am curious about Tears of the Kingdom, but I have my concern that it's not going to be my kind of Legend of Zelda game. Because like, those are really the only three that I've super enjoyed. The early games I couldn't really get into. Because that old school dungeon crawler where it's super fucking difficult to figure out what you're doing isn't my bag because I'm kind of small brained. You guys know this about me. Um... And, like, Majora's Mask, I have trouble with games that have a harsh time limit to it. Yo, I appreciate it, Ethan. Uh, that's how they started with the NES and SNES, but I think they'll add a crap ton more. I hope it comes fast. I'm, like, I like the games that they showed as a little teaser for what they're adding. I hope they end up adding them soon. Personally, my main gripe is, like, emulation's not that hard, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So, I, with them having the license to so many things, I hope it doesn't take them long to have a full heavy library and it's not quite like with the nintendo 64 emulation for the switch where personally it feels like it's still just a really small small selection not going from realism realism is a good way to add longevity to a game because it'll always look good even 15 years later exactly exactly and like the i'm sad they did it for the wii u like it's i hate it that it's one of the few things that they didn't then port over to the switch but even on the Wii U, which was not a great looking console, like the graphics for most things did not look good. The HD remake, or remaster, I never remember which fucking one is which, but the fucking HD remake or remaster of, I appreciate you moth, of uh, uh, Wind Waker, why did that take me so long to think of, was just fucking beautiful. Like, it, it looked so good. Having that game back was so much goddamn fun. And I am sad that it didn't end up getting to the Switch. Because I feel like that would be such a fun game to play handheld. 
since technology for emulations is so common and the technology out there to rework it into a different platform is much easier, you would think Nintendo would want to bring all their games to the latest and greatest regardless if it's online or on cartridge. Exactly! Exactly! And especially with how many, like, random old games there's no access to, which I will say, I think the, like, one of the biggest surprises and something that I'm genuinely stoked to potentially play at some point, I haven't played any of the games in the series, but... It's a series I've always wanted to check out, and I'm really excited for the uh, for the kind of reboot that's happening to it later this year, if I remember right. But I never knew there was a Game Boy Alone in the Dark game. And the fact that they chose that as one of the games, like a, a full-on horror game, as one of the games to have for the launch of the uh, GBA emulation. I gotta say, credit, that was a really cool thing. I was not expecting that. Sis, 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 I ventured to the top of the mountain. I had to climb all over. I had to top a special hero hat. I'm sorry, I forgot we were playing a game. Let's see here, there's stuff like rounding out that would make emulation on a console work poorly. That's fair. That is fair. Looking sharp. That's everyone. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All this stuff is just go recruit my sis. I'm ready for this, right? Yeah. Yo, okay, but how does the glide work? Wait, how does it, it won't, oh wait, I have to put on the shirt. How do I pull that up? There we go. Um, wait, but I'm supposed to have it already, right? But yeah, I, I really hope that they're, ah, there we go. <laughs> it even looks like the fucking glider. <laughs> God damn it, this game is just too fucking charming. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I, I really hope that they expand the library fairly quick, at least for the premium ones. Like, I get it if they don't for the Game Boy one, considering it is free with the console. That I'm not surprised about, but f like, for one where you're paying hard-earned cash for it, I would hope that they would expand the selection pretty quick. Um, where am I going? That's right, I gotta go back to our sister, Hotcha. And then we go slide. Wee! <laughs> Why is this so much fun? Okay. Here we go. So, what do you think? Just a sec. Let me finish this thought. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And done. What's up? Like how Mario 64, there's a platform that is just supposed to go up and down, but in emulation, it slowly goes upwards because the computer rounds different than the Nintendo 64 did. That's fair. You do make a very fair point in that. I did kind of forget about that. I... I hope they can figure out a way to quickly streamline it so they can make it happen more. Like, I... I'm sure it probably won't happen because weird licensing shit with Rare. But I just hope that... Or no, is Donkey Kong 64 on the Nintendo 64 emulation for, for Switch? I can't remember. If not, I hope it happens someday, because god damn it, that game is a great collectathon. I know, dude, there are a lot of nods to Legend of Zelda in this. I am thoroughly surprised. The the little, like, slime hat almost kind of looks like a chew jelly. Whoa, you're done? Oh, no, 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 I'm nowhere close to finished. But I've got a minute. What do you need? Well, look at me. I'm the low green hero. <laughs> I know those quests I've been doing, it's just like the game we played. Oh, yeah, you sure have been busy. Yeah, it looks fun, right? Oh, kiddo. Yeah. Just like old times, right? Kiddo, I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I've really got to focus on this project. Still, but I did all this stuff. Why did you agree to come if you weren't going to spend time with me? Remember I promise, playtime means no grown-up stuff, right? Kiddo, I... Maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have fun without me. Wait, no! Oh. Well, so much for a legendary quest. Aw, oh, sorry, Derp Gator. I guess it wasn't meant to be. What? <laughs> no way, didn't you see that spark in her eye? Oh, Derpigator, no! All I saw was the bags beneath her, or bags underneath them. I'm telling you, we almost had her. We just didn't wow her enough. We need to go bigger and better. 
We need to go there. The big island. Imagine all this, but over there. A bigger forest, a longer river, a taller mountain. An irresistible adventure in every direction she looks. The only way to fix it is to emulate the entire software, which is a lot slower than allowing the system to do math how it was made to. I did not know how much you knew about emulation book. That is fascinating. There's no way she'll be able to say no. What do you say? I don't know, dude. The entire big island. It's not what we signed up for. Honestly, I'm exhausted from just working on this one. Oh. Hey, Jill. Aren't you supposed to meet up with your school group soon? Oh my gosh, you're right. What time is it? Oh, I hope they didn't start without me. Sorry, Scales. I'll see you later. Gotta get going, too. Some guys are expecting me at the splash pad. Good effort, team. You gonna be okay? Uh, yeah. I'll be fine. Don't worry, buddy. Maybe we can win her over next fall. You were really into Mario 64 speedruns for a while? That's what... Yo! That's fucking dope. I respect... Why did that frog just cartwheel into the ocean? You know what? I'm not thinking about it. Nope. We're just we're just moving on. Ah, now what? Now we explore. Come on. Ah, uh, who's texting me? What's good, Dupernator or Derpinator? You coming or what? Tom, come aware. We were waiting for you at the island. And you didn't show. What? No way. I'm on the island right now by the playground. Because <laughs> because it didn't cartwheel up the mountain. You know what? You make a good point. Wave at me. I don't see you. Tom, that's a big island. We said to meet on the little one. Oh, Mabby, Mabby. Uh, I was out here like, where are those guys? Cool news, though. I texted a bunch of... Or I texted like everyone. A bunch of peeps came out to help build... Really? That's incredible! Yeah, but y'all weren't here, so they wandered off all over the place. Oh. I think they're still doing the game, just... Or they're just in their own space, I guess. Oh! Yeah, don't worry. You got big charisma. You can round them up, no problem. I'll send anybody you meet on a little island and invite to. Great! Thank you, this is amazing! We could really make an island wild game or island wide hap game happen. I can't read. It's practically beginning to happen to be each. But listen, come meet me at the playground first, cause I got big ideas for decor. I'm next to the blinky radio tower on the big island. Not little one. Um. <laughs> What's up, friend? Cool, cool. I'll be there soon. Okay, okay, eyes on the prize. Yo, you did an air dribble. Fuck yeah, bud. Cheers to you. How long did it take you to get one? I know you've been practicing a minute. Eyes on the prize, Dr. Gator. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, and Jill and convince them to get back on board. You compose a dramatic spectacle the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. Hey, book, you go get some sleep, my friend. Watts, I appreciate you dropping by. Have yourself a great, great rest of your night, too, my guy. I love y'all. Thank you for stopping by. About ten minutes. Well, hey, that's still fucking dope. You got it to work. Easy. This will be a walk in the park. Oh, and I shouldn't keep Tom waiting at the playground. Time to head for the radio tower. Hey, big sis, better grab a laundry basket, because I'm about to knock your socks off. <laughs> this fucking kid. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna move me to the other side so I'm not blocking all of the fucking text. All right, let's see here. Where where are we going? That's right, we gotta go to the Big Island. And whoosh! Let's go. I'm gonna do it again. This time, record it and send to you. Hey, I look forward to seeing it. Okay, but also I love the way that it swims like kind of like an alligator. Sean's half body can fly. Oh no! I am f I am not floating. Um. Just kidding. I am not a floating torso. 
Um, my, my body exists. Definitely. Honestly, dude, it does have a little bit of Wind Waker vibes. I, I love how heavily inspired by, uh, by Legend of Zelda in general it is. I did not know that about this going in. Let's see, where am I going? I gotta go to the big radio tower. I know, this game is just absolutely charming and adorable. Punch, 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 punch. And who are you? Oh, it's a little fox. What's good, bud? Hi, do you want to come play a game at the playground? Is that still on? Sure, I'll complain a minute. I want to skip rocks for a bit longer. Can I try? Sure. There's all sorts of good rocks around. Help yourself. <gasps> I found a rock! If I threw it right, I could skip it over water. I can get one or two skips, but I really want to see one skip three times. Wait. <gasps> I actually... Yo! Alright, let's see here. I have not skipped rocks since I was like fucking 13, so let's see. Yo! Okay, let's see here. Okay, we can only get two. Let's see if we go a little further. Alright, what if we get closer to the water? There we go. Yeah! That's it! Let's go! Dang, you must have found a really good rock. Maybe I'm just bad at this. Anyway, I'll come play with you at the playground now. See you there. I made a friend. That doesn't ever fucking happen. <laughs> you know, that's that's the true fantasy of this game. The myth. Well, you know what? It's still a child, so I guess it's not that much of a myth. <laughs> all right. Punch all of the pretend flowers. Where are we going? I, don't, I got lost. I don't remember where I'm going, but I'm just punching whatever I see. I don't think anyone is surprised, though. Let's be honest. All right, what do we have here? I was right there. She didn't see me. <laughs> Aww. Poor little gator, dude. I, like, I know what's gonna happen because heartfelt story and it's gonna happen in the end. But I hope that the little gator ends up actually getting to hang with his sister. Gotta get some sleep, but he's gonna lurk. Hey, I appreciate the lurk. There should hopefully not be any loud noises. We have a pleasant stream and a beautiful day. Same to you, my friend. It is always, always a pleasure to see you, moth. He <laughs> just spoiled it. Of course he's gonna end with his sister. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh. Do I get a slingshot? Wait. The storm in the falls! Thank goodness help has arrived. A bunch of icky slimes are trying to climb up the waterfall. The big tree is just up the stream. We have to hold them off or they'll goo it all up. Gross. I like my trees goo free. Man, you know, I'm sorry you guys. I didn't mean to ruin it for everybody. I understand if you don't like the channel. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get these goobers gone. Take out as many as you can. I'll cover your flank. Okay, can I throw stones at him? Yo! Let's go! Bam! Yeah, <laughs> unsub. No! <laughs> we come back. Okay, nope, that's a wall. There we go. Bam! No slimes shall make their way towards this castle. And by castle, I mean tree. And by tree, I mean branch. More than likely. Get it. Do it. Go. And last but not least. <laughs> not now that we finally reached 400. <laughs> I reached the pinnacle. Now everybody's going to unfollow. You know what? It was fun while it lasted, you guys. Hit the fuck. No! I fell. I fell. Oh, but wait. Can I? Ooh. <gasps> oh, let's go. Yo, this game, the climbing mechanics are sick. <laughs> you just traded it as you were falling, though, so it was worth it. We made it happen. That was amazing. You must be the hero of legend. I am. What gave it away? Oh, Tom told me to look out for a fidgety alligator, and <laughs> that would be the hero. Um, I mean, it was your skills with the sword, of course. No ordinary soldier could have done it alone. It's really only been two months, Ruby. It feels like it's been... Oh, that's right. It wasn't fucking Spooptober. It was December that Choo Choo Charles came out. It feels like it's been so much longer than that, my friend. We should celebrate our victory back at the playground. 
Like, I, I can't believe it's only been just over, like, literally today is the two-month anniversary. I know, it really does feel like it's been at least six months. It has been such a great thing having you here, my friend. Let's see. I should probably stop pruning and actually adventure. I don't entirely know where I'm going. Oh, I can climb everything. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's right, I also have my floating that I can do. I forget all of the mechanics like two seconds after I learn them. Got here. I told you to warn me before you do that. <laughs> Tactical roll. <laughs> oh shit! Is this Dark Souls? All right, where am I going? I guess we'll go up top. Maybe. I'm mostly just looking for more shit to break. Excuse me. Have you seen the hero anywhere? Wow! Wow! It's you, the legendary hero. I heard there was a hero on an adventure, so I've been waiting all day for you to come by. Ha! It's me! Do you need help with some sort of quest? Yes! Well, no. I mean, kind of. It's a re-quest. <laughs> the Gator game is just a reskin Dark Souls. Oh no. Please tell me that we don't have to deal with reskin Dornstein and Smoke, because I don't really want to do that right now. Can I be your sidekick? Oh! <gasps> Wait! Wait! Where's Avery? Avery, we found me in game! It's not Gunther! It's Sean, because it's a tiny hippo. Oh, um, I've always wanted to be a hero. I have a hero name and a catchphrase and everything. But I don't have any work experience. My dad says that, or it says that's important because of the economy? I don't know about, please, please, let me be your sidekick. I'll carry your stuff and clean your cape and hell yeah. Well, okay, I guess I could try having a sidekick for a little while. Yes! Yes, 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 this is amazing! Thank you, thank you, thank you! What should we do first? Carry something up a mountain? Learn about swords? Uh, maybe we can start at the playground. We're building a town there. Whoa, that's so cool! Let's go right now! But, uh, okay. <laughs> Y'all, too much enthusiasm. <laughs> Hippos are low energy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of low energy, he walks like two steps. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just need to breathe for a second. Okay, let's go. Buddy, you don't have to run. No, it's an escort mission. Okay, but also, real talk, um, is this not like the perfect game for me? Okay, let's, let's get the hippo back. Uh, are you sure you won't follow me around all day? Sorry, you're really fast. Maybe I wouldn't be a good sidekick after all. No, no, I'm sure somebody at Playground is your sidekick. Maybe somebody who likes to stay in one spot for a while. You think so? That'd be great. Work experience, here I come. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's that stuff I was holding for you. Wait. Oh! Um. Thank you? Let's see. Who do we have here? We have adventurers over there. I don't know where to go. You know what? Let's see what's happening with these four. That is a gazelle in a business suit. I know, he took off fucking running. Hi, Jill, what's up? Great timing, Scales. I want you to meet my friends from St. Hogarth. St. Hogarth, that's the prep school you're studying for, right? Eh? The very same. Hi, I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hogarth. This is Jean and Anton. We're a small but motivated study group always looking for new members. Speaking of, Jill, maybe you and your friend would like to join us for independent projects? Oh, um, I don't know if that would, uh, appeal to Derpigator's interests, necessarily. What's the independent project? Some kind of game? I can play! It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies, then unite to share our findings. I'm scouring the forest for evidence of Paleolithic tool usage. I'm researching old bartering methods and establishing or in the establishment of the uniform currency. I can't words. I catalog beetles. Oh, this just don't sound like games at all. Sounds like you have any schoolwork to do. Alone. Pretty much. Assigned fall reading is no challenge at all for the paragons. Invention is the only path to enrichment. Plus it's fun. And extra credit. But all this work. And your break is only so long. 
Right you are, Deppigator. We're wasting valuable daylight. Time to get we're time to move out and get started. Paragons Perambulate I had to think about that word for a sec. Oh god. We're working on the catchphrase. Jeez, what a drag. A sunny day in the park, you could have wasted on imaginary work. Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with a super fun game in progress. Ready to head to the playground? Scales, I want to help you win your sister over, really. But if St. Hogarth is the competitor, or is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project. First of all, and I'm not even sure where to start. What? But it's full break. There's time for a million projects later. We should be more having fun. Sorry, Duplicator. I guess I have to choose. Don't stop this. This time. Hiccups. What is wrong? See ya. What's going on here? Joe was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all that science stuff. Why are they working when they should be having fun? It's like they don't even know how. That's it. Joe's friends don't know how to have fun. If I can convince them to join the game, they won't have time for imaginary homework. And Joe won't have to work so hard. I should try doing these projects with them to gain their trust. I may even have to learn something. But it will all be worth it to save my friend. Alright, quest start. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Since it is the first day of waking up early and of the new gig. I think we're gonna keep this one short, and I think we're gonna stop it here. I haven't decided if we're gonna play more little gator game on stream or not. Either way, I am definitely finishing this fucking game because oh shit, I got a better shield. Let's go. It is it is so fucking dope. This is this was such a fun thing. It might just live as a one-off on the channel. I gotta decide, but either way, thank you guys so fucking much for coming and hanging out and for giving a shot to you know, once again, some random new indie little something. Um, definitely, I, I enjoyed the shit out of that game. But, before we end, uh, as far as tomorrow is concerned, I'm feeling some spoopy vibes. I'm gonna do a reaction poll tomorrow, but I got two horror games for us to pick from. Uh, we're either gonna do, uh, what's it called? Happy's Humble Burger Farm, or Happy's Humble Burger Farm. I think that's what it's called. There's, there's like, Burger Barn? and Burger Farm. One was the demo, one's the full game. Uh, but we have that if we want to do a restaurant sim slash horror game. And we also have uh, Condemned. And uh, I want to say it was like Xbox 360 era uh, detective horror game. So we, we got some fun spoopy shit we're going to be getting up to tomorrow. And I'm very much looking forward. But as always, thank you guys so... Yo, you do. Okay, wait, which one? Are you, are you talking about Happies? Because I got to be honest. I'm leaning a little bit more towards this one. The first one, okay. See, there, there's also a part of me that's like, maybe maybe we don't leave it as a poll. Maybe we just make the executive decision now um, and we just play it. It like, it looks, okay. So you know what? Fuck it. There's not gonna be a poll. We just we just did a poll. Anybody who wasn't here missed out on the poll. It's, it's something that I bought like back in December and it's something I've been holding on to for a minute. And I am, I'm really excited to check it out with you guys. It looks like it could be, it could be really interesting. I'm, I'm like genuinely so fucking stoked to check it out with you guys. I've, uh, I've, yo, you guys sold me on it. You did. That's all it took. <laughs> Two of my favoriteest peeps was all it took. But yeah, so we're going to definitely play that tomorrow. I'm, uh, I'm super excited. It's also been a minute. I think it's been since Choo Choo Charles, since we played any spoopy shit. So it's about dang time we get back to some spoopy vibes. But until then, I do sadly have to end this one here. Thank you guys so fucking much for coming and hanging out. I hope you all get your... I know, I miss Charles too. I really hope there ends up being DLC or something. Or at least like an announcement of a sequel considering the cliffhanger they left it off on. But I hope there's more. Because it was a fun universe and a really cool like essentially show off of what they can do especially as just a small one person dev team i hope it turns into more that game was fun as shit <laughs> you did something other than bully sean for once <laughs> god damn it ruby what you got my friend what else you got i will wait and see what you got to say but yeah again thank you guys for always just being down for checking out some random indie shit um 
I've got I got a couple of things to pick between, but also we might just uh, after you end scream go clip that time you put down. I will, I will, I will clip the alligator penis conversation, and there's a decent chance, depending on how long that is, that might actually go on the like actual YouTube channel. We shall see. <laughs> Anything over five minutes and I'm like, you know what? We'll put that on the main channel that way There's occasional content on there because you know someday I might actually do shit to that um, Yo, also I do have to say I'm, I'm genuinely surprised and honored I don't know what's happened, but for whatever reason the YouTube algorithm has actually been like ever so slightly promoting the full streams channel because we've actually been gaining a few subs and having more than, you know, like, one or two views on most of the VODs lately. It's super fucking awesome. Um, so if you're not already, you know, if you, if you want to even just look through and see, don't have to watch anything, just simply see all the old shit we got up to over the time. We got a full streams channel, uh, over on YouTube with all kinds of, all kinds of shit. Now you gotta figure out something to play, yo, that's fair, man. You got anything specific you're debating? Uh, but yeah, I think, I think we'll probably... We'll probably just have this game be a one-off. It was a very, very fun thing. But well, I'll play this in my own free time whenever there's the time. Um, we'll probably end up replacing it with doing a community game next week and doing some Mario Kart. But we do have to end this one here, sadly. As always, thank you guys so, so very much for coming and hanging out. Thank you for, for coming for a little bit of a later stream. We'll probably be doing a few later streams a week. Uh with the new job schedule but we're gonna we're gonna keep this shit rolling nothing will stop us all hanging out together we do we do i'll uh i should hopefully get my schedule tomorrow it like it's supposed to get posted no later than friday but hopefully it gets posted tomorrow that way i can figure out what day is going to work best and also a day to make sure that caitlin is going to be there because we got to make it happen too many games to play or probably something on switch hey yo dude i i highly recommend violet Oh, yeah, tomorrow is Friday. Fucking Jesus. I don't know what day it is, you guys. Do I ever, though? Yeah, so I should have my schedule tomorrow. It's it's a guarantee I'm supposed to have my schedule tomorrow. So we should be able to figure out what day will work best. And we'll get up to some fun racing shenanigans for the first community event. I think since maybe November? Although I don't know if we did any. Because we, we kind of, like, steered away from that and started just doing, like, our just chatting and shit like that. So it'll it'll be fun to get back to doing some community stuff with you guys. I'm excited for it. But as always, we do have to end this one here. I will be back where we will be playing Happy's Hungle Burger or Happy's Humble Burger Barn. I think that's what it's called. Or farm. What one of the two, whichever one is the actual game. I'm excited for some spoopy shit. Yo, right back at you, Ruby. Right back at you, my friend. Um, but yeah, until then, get yourself some rest. Have a wonderful Wonderful night. <laughs> now you want a burger. Honestly, a little bit same, man. Uh, I cannot wait to see you all tomorrow. But until then, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. Have a wonderful, wonderful start to your Friday. And I will see you all. Did a couple at half past 2 a.m. last night. <laughs> God damn it, I love you, Ruby. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Start to your Friday, and I will see you all tomorrow afternoon.